Let's consider a double pipe heat exchanger with cold water flowing in the outer tube, hot water flowing in the inner tube, and heat being transferred from the hot to the cold fluid. We're going to think about the area through which the fluids are flowing and the area over which heat is being transferred. First, let's consider the areas through which the hot and cold fluids are passing. The area for hot fluid flow is the cross-sectional area of the inner pipe. This is simply the area of a circle with a diameter equal to the inside diameter of the inner pipe. The area for cold fluid flow is the cross-sectional area of the annular space in the outer pipe. To determine this area, we must subtract the circular cross-sectional area of the inner pipe from the circular cross-sectional area of the outer pipe, using the inner diameter from the large pipe and the outside diameter of the small pipe in our formula. Remember that the inner diameter of the annulus is different than the inner diameter of the middle pipe. Now that we understand the fluid flow area is the open cross-sectional area in the inner pipe and the annular space, let's determine the area for heat transfer. In this heat exchanger, heat is transferred from the hot fluid to the cold fluid through the wall of the inner pipe. Heat transfer occurs over the entire surface of the pipe. Because of this, instead of calculating a cross-sectional area to determine the heat transfer area, we must calculate a surface area. The area for heat transfer is therefore the circumference of the inner pipe multiplied by the total length of the pipe. Remember that we have four pipes of the same length in this heat exchanger, so we would need to multiply this equation by four if we use the length of a single pipe. Here are some thought exercises for you to consider. How would the area formulas presented here change if the pipes were square instead of circular? What formula could be used to determine the area for heat transfer from the cold fluid to the air around the pipe?